With Warped Tour under their belt, All Time Low is ready to release a new album and return their music to a hopeless place. I'm Sarah, and this is Music Notes All Time Show. All Time Low returned to their original label, Hopeless Records, and announced their new album, Don't Panic, would be in stores on October 9th. But first, the guys took over our offices at BuzzNet. We had them tell us why Don't Panic would be their best album yet. I think we're all unanimously going to agree that Don't Panic is leagues beyond anything we've ever done. 20,000 leagues, to be exact. 20,000 leagues. Frontman Alex Gasgarth also told us what would set this new album apart from anything they had released before. It is, I think what makes it the most different is that um, this time around, rather than uh, looking at artists that sort of we were inspired by and things like that for direction we, we really went back and looked at uh, what made our what made our past albums great and we tried to you know harness the best aspects of each previous release and put that into one we album. shoved the, the the negative aspects of each release under the rug mm. and harnessed good since they had a new album out all time low was gearing up for a new tour and naturally we had to team up with the band for a sweet giveaway and we launched the all time foe look-alike contest if you missed out on the giveaway, I will let the boys explain. Answering is easy and only a little creepy. For a chance to see us live, enter the all-time faux lookalike contest on BuzzNet. Check out BuzzNet for some of the amazing entries. And while they were here, Alex and Jack also took a stroll down to our favorite record store, Amoeba Music, and told us about the albums that had an impact on them as youngsters. I must say, I'm a fan of all the albums they picked. Green Day's Dookie. Uh, it's an album that, you know, we listen to from a very young age and uh, I really think it probably is solely responsible for getting me into to punk rock. My older brother showed me this album and I didn't, I didn't initially like the music, but I was obsessed with the CD art. While Alex and Jack were busy talking about some albums they love, Ryan and Zach stopped by our studio and caused a welcome disturbance. Remember this? On BuzzNet.com. Uh, Jack? What are you yeah. talking? What are you guys doing here? Just came to hang out. What are you talking about? All right. Box. Anyway, so that does it, pals. Keep in touch with me on Twitter at Sarah Scuggs, and let's talk music. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and check in tomorrow for three more buckets of music notes. Because let's face it, music rules. Later. Later. Those boys are so polite when they interrupt you. And in the theme of unplanned moments, here are a few of our favorite bloopers from our day spent with All Time Low in our BuzzNet studio. Do a double chiser. Let's all do it like this. Hello, Mr. Barnes. That's what I'm doing. Guys, double chin. Yeah. So, we'll be like, hey, that? And with that, the boys are off on their rock show at the end of the world tour, but we weren't away from our friends All Time Low for too long. Stick around to see how this all time show ends. <laughs>